Do, 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 do. Magnificent afternoon. Um, just very mild winter day, middle of July, and I think it's warmer here than it is in Sydney at the moment. It's one of the oddities that we've found about Tasmanian weather so far, or at least here, is that it can be 10, 11 degrees, but if the sun's out, then it's like this, and I could potentially be in shorts, but I think that would be good for any of us. It's the sort of clear blue winter sky that makes me want to do astronomy for reasons that I, I just can't quite discern. Maybe other people are weird like me too. We can discuss my oddities later, but right now, behold my handiwork. Obviously quite a bit's happened since we last looked at the Espalier. Um, I did want to do slightly more progressive updates, but the time pressure, given that our plants are, are due imminently, has been quite high, so I've just been racing to get it done. But you can see it's come together pretty well. I think last we looked at this, it was just the posts in the ground. Obviously it's completely enclosed now, so the netting's gone over the top. We've got old mate marine netting just as a, a tiny apron down the bottom, a couple of gates at, at either end, and um, that distinct herringbone paving style again, I'm to patent that one. Crucially though, we've got the support wires set up for each row of fruit trees in the middle. I thought it might be worth having a little look at how I've tied some of this wire together, because I'd never done it before, maybe this will be helpful to someone, or maybe it's just me prattling on. But I think the first issue I had was, well, how do I, how do I actually attach wire to a post? It's a rather fundamental starting point. Um, I guess that the old traditional way is to simply wrap the wire around and to actually just tie it to itself, twist it around itself. Uh, and I've done that in a couple of places uh, inside where I didn't think the stakes would be too high if it, if it went wrong. Doubtless there are some ancient traditional ways of, of tying that off, but I've just done it the way that I've sort of seen it done on other fences that were already here. I guess that's kind of the most basic way of attaching some wire to a post. Um, but some years ago someone decided, well, we'll invent something better for that purpose, and they came up with this. It's called a gripple, uh, or a particular type of gripple. This one's called a T-clip gripple. Um, but gripples have uh, a little hole in one end that you can feed wire through and it's it's kind of got a teeth or a, a cog or something like that that only goes one way so you can feed wire through it but it doesn't come back out a, a bit like a cable tie uh, and so this particular type of gripple this t-clip uh, you can see it has these hooks here and if I were to if I place the hooks well I put them put the clip on vertically first and then just twist it so that the hooks lock in place I can then take the other end that's wrapped around the post uh, and feed it through that hole where those teeth are. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly because it's thicker gauge wire, this one, than probably what it should be. Um, but that goes through there. I can't pull it back out the other way. Uh, and then when, when this other end goes off to wherever it's running to and ends up getting pulled tight, uh, this sort of holds it, holds it in place there. And it's a neater solution, I suppose, than uh, the, the twisty wire. Certainly you can fold the end down here and it creates a, a nice uniform look to it. I think the benefit of this is it's just a bit less taxing, especially on hands that aren't quite conditioned for this work yet. Uh, and so instead of all the, the twisting and wrapping and tying on this goes here. Uh, and I've used T-clips in a couple of places along each of the posts where we're going to put the fruit trees off. I've used those mainly for the ease of it. I suppose the other wire related problem is not how to join wire to a post but how to connect two pieces of wire together. So theoretically if I've done this at both ends of my rows I need to be able to join those two wires together somehow and even better I need to be able to pull them tight so that they're not saggy. The other type of gripple is this, it's probably the more standard type of gripple. It's got two of those holes with teeth in it so it's got one in one end and I would feed this through here like that. I've got another piece of wire. My other piece of wire comes in the other direction through the hole and then they can't come undone. The brilliant thing here though is I can actually tighten each of the wires using the gripple like this to, to put greater tension on it. 
And to do that, I mean, I can pull it by hand only so far. There's a funky thing called a gripple tool. It's not very imaginative, is it? Uh, this is a very old school version of it. Uh, but basically, you're, I'll give you a demo. I swear I can do this by myself. One hand, it's a bit easier when it's tied to a post at both ends. So the wire goes through here. I haven't done that very well. So the wire goes through here. It's a loose end. There's a little notch where the grip will actually sits. And then I'm just going to calisthenics and do this. If I pull that, you can see it actually pulls the wire through. Fantastic thing. These cost a fair bit apparently, but we got we got this given to us by the people who owned the place before us. So that was a bonus. Uh, I've actually got to go and do this to just a couple more of these in there now. So I'll head in there in a moment and do that and then, then finish off the rest of it. But there you go. Um, well, you know, if I can learn how to do this, I suppose anyone can. There's only a few things left here and then I can start thinking about the next project. And, you know, a couple of fundamental skills, I can build anything. Go and start another garden, build a shed, build an observatory. There we go. Do, 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 do.